Rounding. When to round up, when to round down. General rule that we follow. When the digit to the right of whatever we're trying to round to is five or more, then we're going to round up. But when, did, when the digit to the right is four or lower, then we're going to keep the digit the same, whatever digit that is in the place value that we're rounding to. Now, you've probably learned this in elementary school from some very fun ways of remembering this. The most common one I've heard is five or above, give it a shove. Give it a shove means rounding up. Four or below, let it go. I even heard some people tell me the phrase five or more, raise the score. Again, that is a creative way of saying round up. Now, some vocabulary. Whole numbers are numbers that, not, that do not have any decimals, do not have any negatives. As soon as we throw some decimals on it, it is no longer called a whole number. Why am I reviewing this with you? Because we're about to look at some problems that are going to ask us to round to the nearest whole number. Before we do that, quick review on vocabulary. The names of the place values to the left of the decimal point are the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and thousands, and ten thousands, and so on. But let's focus on the names of the place values to the right of the decimal point. Tenths is the first one, second one's called the hundredths, and the third digit to the right is the thousandths. Why does that matter? Because when we round to the nearest whole number, we're going to look at the tenths, because that is the digit to the right of the whole number piece. So 48.3, should that stay 48, or should it become 49? Well, looking at the digit to the right of the decimal point, it's only a 3. Four or below, we're going to let the 48 go. But what if it was 48.7? Since the digit to the right is five or more, we are going to raise the score or give the eight a shove or basically round up. Notice it doesn't become 50. We are just rounding the ones digit for the whole number. That's what's happening here. And one more example here, 48.36. Oh, should I double round? No, it doesn't matter that there's more digits here to the right. You simply look at the digit to the right of wherever you're rounding to. We're rounding to the nearest whole number, so we're looking at 48. Digit to the right is a 3. That 3 does not make the 48 round up at all, so it's exactly the same as you saw here at the beginning on the left. Three more examples to look at. 123.87. We look at the digit to the right of the whole number piece. That is 5 or more, so this is going to round up to 124. What if it's 123.47? Well, in this case, the digit to the right is 4 or less. Therefore, the 123 will stay the same. And a very interesting scenario I want you to be aware of. If you have a 9 and the digit to the right is 5 or more, how do I round up that 9? Well, it would become a 10. And the 1 from the 10 would carry to the next digit to the left in the tens place value. So what's going to happen here? The 9 becomes a 10, but you carry the 1. That 1 plus the 2 makes it a 3. And that's the only way that when you write into the nearest whole number that the tens digit would actually go up. 